Thanks, yes. Hey guys! Oh god, the sun's just coming out. Nice. Guys, this is Warren Inspire Ryan here and Jojo Inspire Ryan. Jojo is not quite Ryan. it, Ryan. I don't know <laughs> guys, do you know what? This is the first time that we've been to a park with Noah. <laughs> right? I know. And we live in such a beautiful area. We in live Clapham, in Clapham. And how big the park? <laughs> it's huge. We had, to, we had to ask so many people, where's the park? And they looked at us like, are you crazy? Um, and we're like, yeah, we don't know where the park is. Yeah, 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 don't know where the park is. Yeah, I, think, <laughs> I said to a guy, um, what did I say? Yeah, excuse me, guy. Uh, excuse me, guy. So, 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 excuse me, mate. You don't know where the park is, do you? And he just looked at us. He looked at me like, you're in the park. And I was like, no, park with swings. So yeah, we had, we had a nice little walk through the autumn leaves falling off the trees yeah. and this conference like we've actually we've learned something today we've learned something very valuable today do you know sometimes in life to like progress or to speed up you actually have to slow, slow down. down like me and jojo we've been living here how long have we been, have we been living here now um almost a year almost a year and how much time have we worked on our business? Like every single day, we we like hardly. And it's like, so sometimes off. we're like, oh, oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it's yeah. like because so because we're in like because because we're in most of the time, and like I, I I think that actually to start off your business to like to build the foundations, there is a period of the the unglamorous side of it, right? Yeah, where you're just you have you can't really. I don't know what I'm, what I'm trying yeah. to say. It's like, like, like the whole glamorous of whole, I told Jojo about the whole rice and peas. Like, like when I first met Jojo, I would invite her around to my place. And what, what would be the special thing? We'd have kidney beans and rice. Kidney beans? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what, like, tell, tell them that, what our first date was like. Um, our first date went to the <laughs> museum. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the museum and um Why? So, because it was free. Yeah, because it was free. <laughs> but look, but the thing is the whole process of it is that when I first started out, like when we first start out, like the money's not it's not there. So you have to learn your craft. You gotta be good at what you do. Mm -hmm. So we'd we would we would spend a lot of time at home, you reading compound effect and all of these different <laughs> yeah. books. I'm reading my books and then we would read to each other. And stuff like that, but but what we're doing is coming more valuable. But in that process, we spent a lot of time, kind of just working, working. working. But what we've learned today is that how important it is to switch off. Yes. Like we have literally, we haven't been on Facebook, we haven't been on any social media. We've literally just used our phone to take photos and uh, to create memories, and that that's what's important is creating memories and taking a day off in seeing a week. Noah's, do you know, seeing Noah's face like pick up the leaves like that. Oh Noah God. picking up like the autumn leaves. Yeah. And it's just like. That is and life. Just, just focusing on what's important. It's not all about the hustle and about working your business all the time. It's important to be really time savvy. So putting your energy into the times of your day where you're going to be productive, but you can be busy being busy, not busy being productive yeah. a lot of the time. It's, it's working smart. Yeah. It's, it's, it's working very working very smart. But yeah, it's like there's, there's several ways of making it. I think. Our strategy of making it first was just hustle, hustle, hustle. Mm. Know that this year was going to be a lot of struggle. Yeah. But then we're obviously going to be moving places. Obviously, on our dream board was Richmond to live yeah. in Richmond, and because we want that life yeah. where we can see gr Noah growing up, right? We can see Noah growing up. And, you know, and right now we're not we're not even in that place where we're like you know we've made it and we and we've got everything that we are striving for. Like we put, we're putting on an event at the end of the year that is taking up so much of our time, and you know it's it's not always it can be stressful to put on an event, can't it? Do you know what it's it's. I wouldn't. I, 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 me personally, I wouldn't say it's stressful. It's, it's, um, I, I would say it's like it's a lot of what it takes. It takes a lot, a lot of the time. Of, yeah, it yeah, takes yeah, a, lot a, lot a lot of time. And there's so much to do. It's just like, right, what am I going to put my focus in next? What do I need to focus on? And you know, we haven't done an event of this size before, so it's, it's all new to us as well. Is, I, I think what frustrates me is that you know when you we're going to create this incredible event, and sometimes people have to be there 
to experience how great it's going to be. Yeah. So we're in a place where we're trying to not convince, kind of convince and we, people. We know the value that, that we're going to bring. Gonna, like, gonna the speakers that we've got are all just world class, world class influencers. speakers, influencers, that, and they bring so much value. There's no kind of um, ulterior, to, ulterior to motive. Yeah, run to the back of the room. Yeah, the sales oh, pitch. Yeah. It's none of that. And because you know we've been in events where we, we, we sat there and we've got like a dummy sat next to us trying to sell us something. We've got them trying to sell us a thousand pound program yeah. for two hundred pounds, and it's like we can see through it yeah I know, so I know. So we don't want that. We want realness. I want, I want to do a quick little Q and A with Jojo as well. I want to ask you a few questions, Jojo. Jojo, what keeps you consistent? Do you know when there's days where you feel like, like, because like, obviously Jojo, I like what I love about Jojo. Okay, don't go red. But what I love about Jojo is that she just doesn't give up, regardless of whatever situation is. She is just, she's at it. Like, and if you know Jojo, right, you know that she's always there, and that's what I absolutely love about you. But how do you do it? What do you do to keep you? What's, what's I your think motivation? For, for me, it's, um, and I, this is something that I was speaking to my team about last week, is um, leaders, they have bad days. They have days where they don't feel like showing up sometimes. They have days, no, I'm being honest, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not superhuman. They have days where they don't feel like it. But the difference between a leader and um, the average person is they do it regardless. Last week, I had a presentation and it was raining. I couldn't be bothered to go. The easy thing for me to do would have been to stay home, make food, just be with my family. But I went, I showed up because I knew what like what was the alternative. And whenever I feel like I'm going off track or I might not be consistent, I think about, okay, what is the alternative? The alternative, it, alternative is my business isn't going to grow. Yeah. I'm not going to um, reach my goals. I'm not going to get to that why. And if you think like that, then you are always going to keep going. Yeah, 100%. Um, so it's just thinking, right, okay, what, what's the alternative? The alternative is nothing happens. So you, you've got to show up. And yeah, assistant. and then and the next question: Are you more um, like? Do, are, you, are you very logical, or are you quite? Are you a visionary? Like, do you need to see a process, or are you? <laughs> you know the answers to that. Um, I, I I dream big, and I've got like I think. Um, that I can achieve whatever I want. So in that sense, I'm a visionary, but I have to have strategy. I have to have, I am a very logical person. Like I have to see the reason behind doing something and exactly how I'm gonna get there. So that's the difference between me and Warren. Like Warren is like literally like 100 miles an hour. I've got this idea, I've got this idea. Boom. And then I'm but, like- but, but, Yeah, but I make it happen though. Yeah, you, know, you make it happen. Yeah. But that stresses me out. I'm like, oh my god, like, I can't, I can't just go and do something like that. I have, there's always a thought process behind it. That's, yeah, that's that's why we work so well. We work so well because it's so funny because like, um, the person that really like when, when I'm out there like thinking of creating events on the moon, it's Jojo who like, who's like, it rains me back. I'm like, in. right, let's let's just reach a star first. <laughs> oh, so and then as well, Jojo, obviously you're a good leader as well. What, what, um. If someone is is finding it hard to, they have a team. Just say they got they're a business, they're in a team. What, how would you motivate your lead? How, how do you, how do you motivate your team members? What do you do? Um, I think if you're if you've got a team of people and you're thinking right, how can I motivate motivate my team? You can't motivate your team. The only thing that you can do is be be the person that you want to attract and who you want to work with. Like I can't make someone do anything what I can do is I can control what I do so if I'm showing up if I'm putting the work in and if I'm being the leader that I need to be then my team will follow me and the ones that don't follow that's fine yeah. they don't they're not on the same path as you but you will attract the right people into your team why aren't the questions coming up oh because I think what will happen is that um oh yeah so it Sometimes on Facebook, Jojo, get back in the zone. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, yeah, so, just like, where's the questions? Where's the heart? <laughs> questions. Where's the We're likes? Like, like, I just want yeah. to know who's, who's watching. It's, it's what I, I think sometimes. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, oh there. Wow, okay, we guys, cool. we haven't seen on these questions. Hey, guys. So we've got so many people that I haven't said hi to anyone. Gina, how's it going? Julie, Julie's. Hi, Noah, how are Hello. you? Oh, thank you. Hi, Ralph. Hi, Emma. Someone's woke up. Aut yeah, very autumnal. Love an autumnal day. Well done, guys. Thank you. Oh, sorry, I didn't see anything. Have a great Hi, day, ben. guys. Thanks, Thank Ben. You. Right, okay, so now we've got a bit of interaction. Yes, we've got interaction. <laughs> guys, guys, we couldn't see the questions. I know it's I just. Know it's just oh, God. It's Question just... as well, okay? Hi, Charmaine. What's, do you have any pet hates? What's your pet hates? What, in with who? With anything. Sorry, guys. Um, pet hates, excuses. Do not make excuses because um, if you want something enough, then you can have it. Do you have any pets about me? Ronnie. 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 Ronnie.
on the house. You could, you could wash up a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> also, as well, what do you what 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 do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun? What? Well, I think this is something that uh, we've been thinking of lately. Are you getting nowhere out? Yeah. Um, we don't spend a lot of time doing stuff that isn't business and that, I think that's what I've really enjoyed about today is that we've completely switched off, we've come to the park and we've just like shown Noah, <laughs> I'm so sorry, um, we've just shown Noah like what life's about and I think we need to just do more of this, it's not just always business, 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 we're taking some time to take him to the park, aren't we Dylan? Look at him. <laughs> um, Hi Nicole, hi Ter Teresita. Teresita, hey. how's it going? Um, so yeah, any more questions? Yes, question. Okay, what's it like being a mum and a business owner? It's hard. Um, I'm not going to lie and say it's easy, but you make time for what's important. So, like, I'm. It's hard, but it's worth it. It's right? worth it. No, like the word hard. Like saying something's hard, it's not a bad thing. It is mm. hard, but I know that I need to. I need to keep going because I'm creating the solid foundation for his future and I so I fit the business in around him and I fit him in around the business we just you know he comes with me to events to meetings and um, we just make it work and he's like my little my little mascot mm -hmm. my little wit my little wit mate guys do you have any questions as well if you got any questions for Jojo or myself or Noah because Noah's starting to speak now as well isn't he yeah like, ah, 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 ah. Noah's starting to go <laughs> Laura. And Laura, how's it going? Um, now Noah's away, we're going to take him on a swing as well. He hasn't been on yeah. a swing before. Well, guys, we're taking him on a swing for the first, very first time. Yeah, I can't wait. And I, like, if you guys, if you want more of this as well, if you want more of us to do videos together, because I think it's good, I think, today, because sometimes we're like, because sometimes we can be opposites, right? Sometimes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sometimes we are quite similar and sometimes we're like the complete opposite. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's just about that balance with each other. Yeah. And... And I think it, yeah, guys, give us feedback on this on this Facebook Live. Give us feedback. Do Hi, we, Kim. Like, is it is it entertaining? Is it like, do we? Is there a good chemistry between us? Ask me some questions. Um, okay, so, what is your twelve month goal? Where do you want to see yourself in twelve months time? In twelve months time, it's so funny. I said to Jojo, this is going to be the last event for a long time. Right. Yeah, like, he said, right, I'm not going to put on an event for so long. And then all of a sudden he said, actually, I think I might do an event in March. I'm like, come on. Don't let that <laughs> Not <out>. much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, next 12 months for me is I fully want to um, systemize my business. Mm. So therefore, when my events do happen, I'm not there physically promoting the event. I can just do what I do best, which is speak. And I can speak a lot. Yeah. But um yeah, so my 12 month goal is to obviously ex be at the XL, 10,000 people, to have a great lineup of speakers such as Les Brown, Tony, no, not Tony Robbins, because these were success resources, but um, Les Brown, definitely, speakers. yeah, yeah, be yeah, big speakers. Um, right, how do you, um, we're going to make this um, quick now because my battery's going on, okay. I want to take pictures of them on my swing. Um, how do you best market your business, guys? Talk to everyone, that seems to be the best for me. It's definitely building relationships and talking to people, finding out what they need from you because not everyone is going to want to. Um, you know, do business with you until you speak to them and build up that relationship then you're gonna find out um, and just be yourself if you're gonna market your, your your business people want to know the face behind the business so if you market yourself and brand yourself and be real then people will want to follow you and, and also as well guys um, people don't buy what you do until they buy why you do it like until, until they know why you do it yeah so it's so it's important with that that you are on the front like like you're visible so that people get to feel like i feel like i know you yeah and when when when, when they feel like they know you what that does then is that it builds trust and that trust is that once they have trust, then we're, they're going to invest in your products or service. Yeah. But it's about, yeah, it's about being visible. This is why I do a lot of videos. Hi, Marcia. Hi, Susan. Hey, guys. Right, we're going to shoot off now because my battery's going to Love you and leave you, guys. We love have to love you and leave you. Yeah, leave you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, this is our first Facebook Live publicly together. We're really proper, like, chatting and stuff. That's so it. if you want to see more, then just let us know. We'll put, do a proper Q&A. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I hope you're all having a great weekend and we'll speak to you soon. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>